You have all created businesses from out of the box thinking. What made you veer left when everybody else was going right? Bobby. When I moved to New York, it was the 80s and everyone was doing the, you know, over made up contour look. I know it's back. I still don't <laughs> like contour. So I would make up the models to make them look like they weren't wearing makeup and that was my calling card. But there was no makeup available that allowed you to do that. I met a chemist one day at a shoot and I said I can't find a lipstick that didn't smell, wasn't greasy, and I wanted to match lips. Then I realized, wow, this is something. For me, entrepreneurship, it wasn't something that I aspired to. I always wanted to be an inventor. Now we're installing our technologies around uh, different countries uh, in emerging markets, turning everything from floors and roads to baby strollers into uh, energy generating solutions. You guys both touched on this idea of identifying problems that existed in your life and looking at ways that you could shape an industry rather than looking at the industry itself. I started a fashion technology company with my co-founder. We had no fashion or technology experience. If you thought too far down the road, it could be easy to find all the why nots versus the how can you make this happen. We focus only on the technology industry. I did not really start Numi as a business. It was a problem that I wanted to solve. And I work with men, they are not scared to ask for money. But women can have something phenomenal, but it's like we hold ourselves back. So a lot of the work that I do, in particular with women, is confidence building, is getting them comfortable with asking for the money. Research show that men are four times more likely than women to ask. Set it as a goal though, and it has to be a very concrete goal. Like, I wanna buy a $250,000 house in three years. So I wanna get a raise, and like, let's back into what you need to do today to be on track. Don't quit your job, don't do anything until you figure that out. And then even after you figure that out, you gotta do a deeper dive into the customer and try to find more customers like the ones who gave you a dollar. The advice I always give is to forget you're a woman, right? That you are a person with a good idea, just say it. That was exactly the advice that I gave myself, was just to remember that you're there like any other employee and to speak up when you have a great idea. I've been in rooms with investors who are supposed to be investing in women and people of color. Every single day, I get up being like, Jessica, you are a black woman. You go, you're gonna have to do three times as much to get half as far. We all know that we can't just be like one of the boys that, but the good news is that we have a special perspective. Being someone that's been in the industry for a long time, when I was first starting my company, especially with other makeup artists, you would never give any advice. And now, as I'm reinventing myself and need some different things, they're saying, yeah. here. This year I turned 60 and I started a new lifestyle brand. There's more and more opportunity and there's a million things you're gonna end up doing. On your own terms. On your own terms, be the entrepreneur yes. of your life.